Okay, so I'm at the point where I'm installing all these drawers into my base cabinet, my kitchen base cabinet. Now, we're gonna have a lot of drawers in this kitchen because my wife wants all drawers on all the base cabinets. Uh, so except for underneath the sink, everything else will have drawers. So I wanna find an easier way to uh, put them all together and uh, put the drawer slides on them. So these are center line drawer slides. They got a soft um, close feature to them. and um, what I want to do is I want to put them on the side here and really uh, the location doesn't matter. They could, they could be down at the bottom, they could be uh, midway up towards the top, wherever. I, I picked about a midway section um, and I made a little jig here and all it is is just a piece of plywood the length of the drawer with a quarter inch piece at the bottom here. I'll, I'll show you what that does now. First off, it has a little lip here so that it can catch the bottom of the drawer and place the drawer slide along the side here and it's it's a little bit less than halfway up so the first thing i want to do is uh, get it so that it's set at the front of this now this is the interior drawer that is going to actually have a finished piece that's going to go on the front here so i'm going to need to set this drawer at least three quarters of the way and back now all of these drawers are made a half inch smaller than the opening so i have that much to play with up and down so once i have this here uh, I'm going to go ahead and screw the inner part one uh, towards the drawer and it's going to be in the up and down side of the drawer slide. So they have a slot that goes horizontal, one that goes vertical, and then a solid one. So the vertical one is where I'm putting this at first and then I'm going to loosen up just a little bit here. Uh, not too much, but enough so that it can slide if it needs to. Now I'm going to extend this a little further so I can get into another uh, vertical part of it. And again, I'm going to make sure that this is lined up with this piece here with my jig before I add the second one in. And I'm going to put it in the same spot. As a matter of fact, first I'm going to go ahead and put a pilot dimple here for it to fall into. And screw that on in. Hold it tight against it. All right, so um, now I'm just gonna take the drawer. Now you can see that this drawer can slide around a little bit and I really don't want it to slide that much. So I think I'm gonna adjust it just a little bit tighter because I do want it to have some play when I push it inside the case. So I will do the same thing on the other side here and uh, actually I'm gonna put this back and just double check everything to make sure that it's all good. And as a matter of fact, that's still a little bit loose to my liking, so I'm going to tighten that up just a little bit more. Make sure they're all up. There we go. All right. So I'm going to leave this on as I flip it over because this is a nice solid uh, base for it, so that way it doesn't mess up the inside rail because you have the rail sitting down on there. And so now this is my face right here. So you got to make sure I have the right direction. And I do. And again, this makes it a little bit easier to set all this up. Now I need to, because of this drawer slide, because of the soft close, it's kind of difficult to get open at first. So you sort of have to open that up a little bit. All right. 
So again, I'm going to grab me a screw here. And because I'm teeter-totter, get this down solid here. There we are. Now I'm not teeter-tottering so much. Make sure the front lines up with the front. Again, right about the center of the vertical. Opening the slot. And slide that back a little bit more. And again, the awl, you don't have to, you don't have to punch it in. Um, I'm just doing that just to give me a spot to, makes it a little bit easier, especially when the drill is magnetic. It tends to want to push that thing around. So let me, that's the direction it goes. Slide that one off. And so this one is going to go on this side of the cabinet. Get the other one off here in a minute so let me bring the cabinet up here move the camera around and show you what i'm going to do inside the cabinet with my with the same jig here now with my cabinet in place i'm going to want to install the base or the cabinet side of the drawer slide now i'm going to use my same jig and this quarter inch piece it was resting on the top here when i put those on the drawer, I'm going to have this bottom resting on this bottom part right here, which is basically going to raise everything up a quarter of an inch. So that's going to make this drawer clear the bottom by a quarter of an inch, and then I'll have a quarter inch clearance at the top also. So I'm going to slide this in, and now before I put this in here, what I'm going to do is uh, these has little tabs on them, and I'm just going to bend them in a little bit here, just a tiny bit. And what this does is this allows you to screw this in has the drawer slides in it will spread it apart and get a perfect fit so take and put the front part of the drawer is going to go towards the outside here so this is the part that slides out with my drawer in it now the other thing that i have to keep in mind is that um, i have to have this at least the distance of my face pieces because these are about three quarter inch they set inside you can see right here that this sets inside so what I did for that is I have this piece here, which I'm going to put flush, and it's just a three-quarter inch piece of plywood, and that's going to be flush to the front here, and I'm going to move this a little bit towards me, and I'm going to get myself a clamp and clamp this on down. So what this does is this allows this piece, um, oops, let me move this for a second so you can see clearly. Um, that's going to put my slide three quarters, a little less than three quarters an inch back, uh, so that that way when my drawer sits in, it's going to uh, extend past the front a little bit. I'm going to put this back on up here, and I'm going to line up this front part of the drawer with the front of this piece right here because I've already recessed it. And I'm going to get me some screws here. So I'm going to block the camera view, but I'm going to put in a couple screws here into those openings that I had so I get to adjust this there we are so I can see it and there is one and I will put one in the back there and of course it gets kind of cramped in here and this is probably my uh, as far as width goes, the smallest one that I have. So take this off. I only have two of them in there. And like I said, they will, they will allow it to expand back and forth. So again, I will put this where my quarter inch is down at the bottom. I will place this so that that's flush with here to the front face of the cabinet. And then clamp that on in. So it's there. And now I'm going to remove this part of my drawer slide all right so take this drawer slide again lining up the front of the drawer slide with the front of my plywood jig grab a screw here completely forgot about bending these out see 
That's what cameras do to you. Now you could clamp this too, which, you know, I think I'm gonna do that. Because once you get in position, you really don't want it moving too much. So I will just add another clamp here, just to sort of hold it a little bit. Get the screw in here. Now the back one. So I go to the, there's actually four spots on here that these can screw into. So theoretically, this drawer now should sit and have about a quarter inch on the bottom and the top. So we'll just see if that's the case. Now the first time, first couple times in and out, it's gonna be tight as these things adjust. But as you can see, it already got, well, maybe you can't see, but I can definitely feel that it already got much easier. So there it is. So now the drawer is in there. It's pretty well set up. So I'm just gonna try and slide it out as, as level as I can. And of course these springs are really tough without handles on it. But move it all the way out of here. And, which is funny because these release mechanisms, one side goes down, the other side goes up. But you don't really know which one it is until you do it. There it is. All right, so, there we are. So now all I have left to do is tighten down all of this stuff and make sure that it's relatively tight. That one's pretty tight. And uh, I'm going to actually put this back one here in the solid hole. So you have a horizontal slot, you have a vertical slot, or a horizontal and a vertical slot, and then you have a solid hole there. And I'm putting this one in the solid at the back there. And you notice I keep wiping off my hands because uh, these are lubricated up, these slides, so I want to make sure that I don't get too much oil on the drawer. I'm going to get a little bit. I'm trying to avoid getting too much. All right, and then once these are in, I'm gonna go ahead and lock this down with a few more screws. Generally, I try to use up all the screws that are provided. So that way I make sure everything gets locked in place. All right, so now I put the drawer back in. So each time that I pull it through, those pieces that I bent out are bending back in and lining up. And makes it easier to slide. So I have a quarter inch of the bottom, a little more than quarter inch, so I had a much a little, a little bigger gap than a half inch. Um, so I have a little more there and it's perfectly level on this side. And let me wipe off my hands really good here for a sec. And so the next thing will be placing my false front onto the front here. And you see that when I press this back, it has the same reveal as this one over here. So by creating a template and using a template, uh, you actually make it easier for you to, let me make sure I don't drop this. Um, you actually make it easy for you to make something that's uniform all the time. Now, in the next video, I'll show you how I put the drawer fronts on, uh, the easiest way that I have to do it. and. Um, We'll go from there. And you can see this one's already done. This one's set to go. So stay tuned for the completion of this base cabinet and how to put the fronts on these drawers.